Hi right, guys, I'm back on the chest trying to hit 2,000. Let's go. It's been it's been a few days, but I'm coming back at it now. If I can get like two wins in a row, I should be able to do it. So I've got 26 seconds to think about how to take on. This is the English, right? Um, do I put a pawn in the center, but then they take towards the center, and they've got three. Well, they've got two pawns in the center, and I've only got one. Or this, or like just Sicilian symmetrical sort of system. <laughs> Uh, maybe just put a pawn in the center. It's probably most most normal. Uh, so if this they eh, let's just get a knight out. We're probably gonna play. I don't have a clue how you play against the English guys. So I'm just making this up completely. I'm just trying to get out the opening really. Um, this and this, or try and build at the center. I'm gonna try and be ambitious and build at the center here, and they stop it. Okay, so if this takes, 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 they've got too much coverage. I'm just going to go here in order to get this little maneuver with the knight. They've killed their own light square bishop, so that's a little win for me. Guy's a serious player. All right, we're going to show a lot of respect, but also take his head off, you know, go after him. So... If this, if this, this, this helps to build this, this idea, the pawn break in the center. Centralizing the rook looks interesting, but what about this? If takes, it's a push, take, 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 chop, 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 chop. I can do this pawn break. Do I even want to though? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get spicy. If I could push one more, I'd be very happy, I think. So I think they've got to take. And we've got these two knights and the queen and bishop all covering. So we've got more than enough coverage. Just what do we take with? Oh, wow. They take with a knight. So which knight is less valuable? This one is it doesn't really have many good jumps. This one doesn't have any good ones either. Maybe this one could jump to this square later. So I'm going to trade off this one, I think. Probably might not matter too much. And then if this, but then their bishop becomes very strong. If this, we trade off their strong bishop. If this, I don't know, it sort of looks a bit uncomfortable, the diagonal. So I'm going to go for this, I think. I didn't like their bishop eyeing this pawn on, on B2, B, uh, B7. So now I can develop the queen. If so, can they hit my queen? They could go there, but I'd, I'd take... I'm also threatening the rook, so this seems... Nice. And tempo-y. Oh, wow, okay. My queen's on a beautiful diagonal. I could just get... Like a knight there. Check. Yeah. Well, no, it'd be, it'd be check. The only move they'd have... Would be this or this, in which case I'd have a revealed attack. Yeah, so one, two, three. It's hard to get a knight there though, isn't it? Ah! And now I'm regretting not, not keeping that light square bishop on. If this, maybe we can sack, sack this bishop for this pawn in the future. Or just line up with the king and then that pawn is pinned. I think that seems very natural. I think this move's coming with the knight though. Jump in here, hits the queen. What about this? Just started to crack at their position. Also, this castles. We castle this way, we just start attacking them. We're also threatening this pawn, but then check. This is spicy though, guys. Check, we just slide the king out. You know what? I'm feeling aggressive. I don't know why. I just... I'm, I'm feeling good attacking. I think this looks like it's going to crack their position pretty quickly. And even though they've got this check, these pawns look a little bit slower than mine. I think because this pawn is pushed out, it, it sort of acts as a hook for me to crack into the position. I don't know what that was. It was like a, you know, them, you know, like seed dispersion in plants, them plants that have little seeds that stick on your clothes. It's like, that. that's what that pawn's doing. Um, so we just step out. Still got a lot of pressure here. 
So they probably bring a rook. They bring a rook. This pawn becomes even weaker and this move looks even better. Okay, they just go straight after the knight. So if takes takes, do I really care? I guess that stops me going bishop here. I can grab this pawn. And after takes takes, takes takes, they damage my structure. But I have I have active pieces. I think I'm just going to take the pawn. But they've not got a check, have they? Nah, let's grab it. Okay, they're going to take here, damage my structure. So yeah, double A slated pawns, but I am up a pawn. So if I could trade one of these guys off, I'd be winning. Now this threatens to give them an... Hmm. This and take, we give them an isolated pawn. But, but what if this knight jumps in? Yeah. What if just here, though? That looks like a good square for my bishop. Like, I in that. Maybe threaten double the rooks. Get in on the pigs on the... Pigs on the second. I'm going to reinforce, and I can bring another rook involved. And if they want to trade off all the rooks, they can. But they'll end up with a knight on this square on the edge of the board. I think my bishop will be much stronger. Especially with five minutes to calculate. My opponent's left the game. <laughs> Leave a like and a, and a comment, by the way, guys. And a subscribe if he's not already. While we're waiting for this guy to reconnect. Oh, he's reconnected, okay. Oh, this doesn't seem good for my opponent. Because now we can take, 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 take. And then the knight is on the edge of the board. Seems pretty good. If this... If I if I bring the king, they get this check. Yeah. Um. Hmm. This they can just take it. You know what? I'm gonna put the the knight on the edge of the board. I'm up a pawn. I know it's doubled, but I think my bishop's gonna dominate. They actually they could take with a knight, I guess. I don't want to pre-move that. Okay. So, if here, I dominate the knight, wherever the knight goes, I can take it and give them an isolated pawn. But would that be enough to win? I'm not sure. Oh, well, it sort of guarantees a draw, I think. If this, does that stop the king? I think I've got to get my own king involved. But I think this needs to be played just to stop the king coming in. Maybe they're going to go knight here now. No. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've got to get the king in. Their king is way too active. Scaring me a little bit. Okay. So if this, they take this. If this here, I get a move on my king. Ah, oh, but these double pawns are going to cost me, aren't they? I, although they can never push, I can just fully bring my king. I think I might be, I might be winning. Wait, what does this check do? Yeah, nothing. If this takes, 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 takes. Okay, I either do this and defend the pawn. And invite this move, in which case I go here, or here to defend this pawn, and then they go here, I go here. I, th I think I can get away with this. I'm just a little bit hesitant to snap trade it off, because I don't know if this position's winning for me or what, but... Maybe. It might be winning. Because I've got four on three here. You know, if I can get my king over, you would be happy. So this now... Or check. 
I'll just take. Because if they take with the king, I take this and isolate a pawn. If they take with a pawn. What do I get? I get this. I try and create a pass pawn. Or do I just... I can just use this move to bring the king and then if they take, I take. Or if they take, I go like this. Then recapture. What if they throw in this? Oh, it looks complicated. Well, wow, it's a big decision, guys. <laughs> uh, if they go check, it looks annoying. If I just take this first, yeah, that seems simplest. And they take on the isolated pawn. Now I get the advanced king. Is, does the check help? Or does the take help more? I think just bringing the king is best. I'd love to take back here and maintain this little pawn wall, guys. In end games, I always say pawn walls, like keep these two, flat pawns are super strong. They're so flexible and they do such a good job of restricting the king. The king can't move anywhere. Anywhere here, the pawns cover. Pawns creating a wall. We're happy. Two minutes left. Let's get this pre-move in. Okay, let's make sure my head is still in frame. I have a habit of sort of skulking off to one side. All right. So this guy's using a bit of time now. Oh, wow, he moves back. What's that all about? That doesn't seem right. He's going to try and win these pawns. If this, he can opposition me, but I can go check. If take. Or if push now. Takes, takes. Oh, that looks too strong. Then I get a connected pass pawn. If I, if I can play this, which I can, or do I do it with the king? I think I advance the pawn. And then if this, I just reinforce. Or take. If take here, here, they're getting back in time. So I think I reinforce. And they, they can lock it up, but I don't think that's good for them because they can never come in and win this base of the pawn chain because this pawn win, uh, runs. Okay. If this, this, again, same situation. Here, here, they catch me. But even if takes, takes, and takes, I run. So I... Wait. So, so let's say they get here. And then they go, takes, 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 I push, they go here, I push, I'm fine. I just literally win these pawns now, don't I? Can I not step here? Or do I opposition them? Should I use this opportunity to put them in opposition? Uh... Yeah, I think I do. Opposition's normally best, guys. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could go that way then, but my chess instinct was saying put them in opposition, you know? Okay, I've, oh, we're running out of moves though, aren't we? Who's going to get the last move? Here, here, and then I think they're in, in Zlut's long opposition. Yeah, like that. Connected past pawn, guys, we love it. If here, they go here. I right, keep putting them in opposition. Here and takes, I push. So I'm not worried about this pawn. I just need to get right. Get to the B file. And I think they've got to go here. Stop this running. And I'm coming in. I think I'm winning this, guys. Yeah, I think I'm making too much of a, a, fuss, mm. a fuss over this game. So let's just, <laughs> again, here, here. Push here, push. Yeah, I'm fine. It's so it's so like against my nature to just leave these pawns undefended, but I can. So if this trying to get my king involved. And now this should be all pre-moves, I think. Oh wait, what? I didn't see that coming, but this here I can go back. I'm fine, right? Okay, they can come in now. 
but they can never really come to these pawns because this runs. And I just win this. Can't go here because I push. So now I'm coming in. Okay. And now they're going to try shield my king so I can't get back out. I'm just going to force my way around. Bit tricky, but yeah, we're fine. 30 seconds. Hope you're enjoying this, guys. Hope it's instructive endgame-wise. And uh, yeah, this, just knowing that they can never go past the pawn with the king. Because I run. It's just the key idea, really. And we're just going to slowly push their king to one side. We've got no increments. We need to be a little bit careful time-wise, but we're coming up. Wait, this isn't like a, some sort of draw, is it, if they just keep... We're definitely putting them in opposition. I thought if they go that way, I don't actually know what I do there. I might check that in the analysis, see if that was a draw. But no, this should definitely be winning. You just keep opposition in them. And then we can just get this. Uh, or, the, or this. Go after this pawn. Seems simplest. Now we can just pre-move that. Yeah. We, I think we could have gone this side as well, but this seems easier. Okay, we, we push this. Push this. Um, let's just win this pawn. And then we use this little method. Oh. All right, we're going to get them to one corner. Which corner are you going to, King? Which corner? Tell me. Which corner, King? We're going to go this way. Try and get him in this corner. Come on. Get in a get in a corner. Oh my god, this guy's been awkward. <laughs> Which corner is he going to? There we go. Okay, we got him in a corner. We're not gonna stale, mate. I'm gonna go like that. The pressure got to me, guys. I've done that so many times in these instructive videos, and I just totally got my king and queen mixed up. I had 11 seconds as well. That's like, that's more than enough. There, about here, I started thinking, which one do you boomerang? You, oh my God, my mind, my mind's gone. <laughs> Analysis, right, you go there. Wait, wait, let me just play this versus computer. I'm, I've just got really confused. Ah, uh, yeah, I just couldn't. What am I black? I need to be black. Yeah. Um. You go bang, 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 bang. What was I doing? What did I do? What What did I do? Ah, <laughs> oh, I totally just bottled it. Absolutely bottled it, guys. Wrong one. This. Right, right, I want to see if this was drawing anyway at one point. I felt like they had some sideways opposition chances at the end there. But anyway, still, another... Uh, just a moral victory, really, but... <laughs> I, I can't, can't keep going easy on myself with these sort of things. So it's saying push that and just close off the center. But it goes against my instinct to do that. And now this pawn break looks nice. Opening things up. And my I'm just slightly better. It didn't like it did like castles. Yeah. They come in with check. It likes me winning the pawn. And it just says I'm slightly better. Oh no! <laughs> the pawn was pinned. That was the whole point of this move. Yeah. I did consider that, actually, trying to get on the seventh. And then if takes, I get this very powerful rook here on the, the second, sorry, the second rank. But this just looked really good for me. I like the way I played this. And that move with the back with the king was very odd. And this getting the connected pass pawn was just winning. And I probably used way too much time here. Get myself down to 10 seconds. 
But yeah, around here, I thought, is there a chance? I thought if they played like this up and just did that, you know, what do I do? I do eventually opposition them. I thought maybe they had some chances to draw that. But yeah, guys, I balled it. I'm sorry. That, yeah. I know you're disappointed with me, but trust me, I'm more disappointed with myself. <laughs> Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Cheers. See you next time.